You may have been to this point where all your animation work is done and you want to add textures to your scene. Now that usually goes something like this. You import a cool texture that a friend once gave you and place it carefully into the timeline. Color and name it well so you won't lose it in your ocean of layers. Reposition it, apply the correct blending mode, but the texture is too big. We need to use the layer we want to texture to pull a track mat, but it's part of the animation. We need a duplicate, but preferably non-destructive with expression links so that when we change the original layer, the duplicate updates. So let's copy this layer with property links like one of these two and make sure you pick the right one because otherwise the future duplicate of this composition will reference the layer in the previous composition instead of the new composition. Let's just say comp for now. Paste. And we have a duplicate. Wait, where is it? Oh, of course. The duplicated layer needs to be set to the same parent as the original layer. Now it shows up in the right place. And all I have to do from here is pull a track mat. Like one of these four. And then... After I turn off the visibility and quickly trim the in and out points of the duplicate and the texture, it will show up. Ah, <sighs> one object is textured. And now I get the hang of this, I just have to repeat the same process for the rest of my layers. If this way of working sounds complex to you, just get Ray Dynamic Texture. Select an object and texture it by clicking on one of the swatches from your texture palette and everything will be set up for you. Or just texture all your objects at once it's never been this fast to apply a specific look to your scene. If you don't have a cool friend with textures, now you do. His name is Ariel Costa and he provided you with 30 custom made textures to start texturing with. You can also download more texture libraries from other artists and share yours online. No complicated settings required, just share and import After Effects projects. And have you ever been digging through your project trying to find that particular expression or effect? Well, now you can just save it to your texture palette with one click and then apply it to another object whenever you need it. And the tool is not called Ray for nothing. So you raise that thing between the source and the surface so that when the source changes, it updates all the other effects. Upgrade your workflow and get Ray Dynamic Texture today. I also started a YouTube channel, Geo Regulus, where you can learn how I use this tool in my workflow. So go there and check it out and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tutorials.